at that classic age where he knows. We, we, we want to have people who assist us. Assist us. <laughs> is How that, hard is that? Is that too much to ask, right? <laughs> and Rochelle and I believe that we are fairly good communicators. Yes. That we're pretty clear. Right. And that and the, uh, I believe, duh, and whatever, <laughs> duh, <laughs> that the English language, we agreed that certain words meant things. Yeah. Now, don't yes. Don't get me on the unlimited tangent, <laughs> having no meaning with Verizon, but that's a different story. We think certain words mean certain things. Like, no means, no, I don't want you to do it that way. And yes means yes I, I, I would thrills me do it that way but here's what happened i i was being very clear because i had it was morning i was on it had the agenda okay tell the assistant here's what i would like you to do here is the red card for personal use please go get gas in my personal vehicle so take the vehicle go get the gas then i'm going to give you a different card and i would like you to go to the store to get the champagne. We have to have champagne. So there has to right. be a champagne. So I have like one right. case of one champagne. Case. Yes. We go through all this. What card, what the gas mileage numbers are, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All set. She's ready to walk out the door. I go, okay, here are the car keys. And she goes, oh, it's okay. I'll just take my car. <laughs> like, well, how are you going to get gas in my car? <laughs> You're in your car. <laughs> Anybody can, anybody can make that mistake, right? Because you can, you know, you're just do, maybe not thinking. I'm going to blame pharmaceuticals. Yeah. <laughs> but everything <sighs> is written down, right? And this assistant knew that we drink champagne and that we do a show called In the Limo and we're always drinking champagne. And well, occasionally we drink margaritas. Occasionally. But occasionally. Outside of the limo. And so Rochelle gave her a coupon. Right. For a bottle of tequila, tequila for one the margaritas of tequila one case of champagne right <laughs> which she thought she communicated that very I wrote it. it was written down okay. she believed she not only said it she wrote it what did she come back with then she comes back okay with the car okay <laughs> The gas station was kind of a hassle, so she only got a half a tank because, you know, little little ACD, OCD thing going on there. Okay, so then I said, well, let's just get the champagne out. Let's take half the champagne in the office and half will go home. And she goes, well, what do you want to do with the case of tequila? Now I have a case of tequila. These aren't oh small. My God. These I, aren't small. I said, well, I, I guess tequila. I guess the logical thing is start planning a Cinco de Mayo party. <laughs> no, no, start planning a Cinco de Mayo. So, so this is like everyday life. Get though. ready to be invited to the Cinco de Mayo okay. tequila party. So do you all try to have people assist you in life? I mean, it's and it's if you crazy do, stuff. and you better have great your, stories. Yes. What are your secrets? Yeah. To, to communicating clearly with people who are you're supposed to be assisting you. And you know, I really, I really love the people. So it's very hard for me to go, well, that ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So instead I just go, oh, that's great. A case of tequila. We won't have to buy any more tequila until the fall equinox of 2019. <laughs> And I've got a bad rap on this tequila thing, so it looks bad. And now I have a case of tequila hanging around. It's just not right. Not right. Just okay. not right. Anyway.